high this video, I'm going to do this MATLAB example in which cells are, are counted using classical image processing and computer vision techniques, in particular, I am delayed thresholding uh, to binarize the image and blob analysis to compute the centroid of the cell. And this is something that uh, could be done with uh, deep learning as well. But uh, since the problem is very simple, I uh, use some cells in a black background. It is much cheaper both in terms of uh, development and execution time to follow this approach. You can make it work in very little time as we, we're going to see now. So the example is in the description. The link for the example is in the description and you can open it like this. Okay, once in the, ex in the example, you can put a breakpoint, hit F5 uh, to run it and then F10 to step. So this is going to be the video size. Uh, the video is located in is called Echo Cells uh, AVI, uh, but it could also be MP4. A uh, video reader is going to be used to read image by image, and it works with various formats. And this is the blob analysis that we're going to use to compute the centroids. It's, a, it's from the computer vision toolbox. Uh, there's some configuration. We, we set the minimum blob area. The blob is basically in a binary image in which all pixels are one or zeros. There are some segments uh, that are uh, se segments of pixels that are together that uh, correspond to an object, in this case cells, and the area, the total of pixels for that particular region uh, can be used to filter. For example, if it is below 7, it might be noise, and if it is about 300, it, then it's, it's not a cell. So it can be used to filter. So yeah, the, it seems that the centroid is going to be computed automatically by this. And one of the things that we don't want is a bounding box. It's like a square that is uh, around the each blob uh, found. In this case, we don't need it. So when to speed it up, we take it out. And we need a video player because we're going to transform the image to mark where the centroids are. So we're going to display the results in the video player. OK, so the position, for some reason, the example is going to change it. Uh, so this is the coordinates and it's going to round them but that really doesn't change anything at all so the video size uh, this is going to be used for some reason and so for some reason is a uh, 330 is added to it but notice that uh, the coordinates are inverted the and yeah that's because in the images x and y x which is the column goes first and y which is the row goes after while in a race in matlab you have the row first and the column after that. Yeah, and also understand that MATLAB is column major while the displays are really row majors. Okay. Okay, so let's go with the first image. We're going to use the frame a video a video reader to get the image here. I understand it is used as a function, but that should, that should be a method. From, from the video reader to get the image and then we're going to convert it to single and to gray. We are going to work in grayscale. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to delay the image and then you can see that one of the parameters is this neighborhood. It's basically a square of ones and you can see it in here. Uh, just a square of ones. Okay, so we're going to delay the image and that's basically making the objects a little bit fatter. We'll take a look at it. Yeah, it's kind of blurring and making things fatter a little bit. And then we're going to multiply by 2 the image uh, to have twice the intensity and subtract this. So this is kind of uh, going to sharpen the edges. That's what the emphasize on the edges. So let's Take a look again. It's kind of a the the middle the middle doesn't go away because the middle is always there. But in the original image, the the borders were not there because uh, because it, it was not uh, thick enough. Now after using delay, it got thicker, so it's kind of cutting the borders. That's that's what it's doing right there. And okay, so this. Next operation, I do not understand the purpose of it. If you take the maximum of y1 and the minimum, 
the minimum, yeah, you're clamping it to zero. That's why you're doing here. And then uh, you cannot, you don't do anything in here because uh, you don't get above one. So yeah, the maximum stays the same and the minimum becomes zero. It's like clamping for some reason. Okay, now uh, it's gonna delay it again. And now the, uh, let's take a look at how the delayed image looks this time. Okay, again it looks a little bit further and now we're going to subtract the Y one, the original one. And that, that is going to create like, like rings, it's going to cut the center. Previously we cut the borders, now we're going to cut the center by doing by subtracting y, Y1. Okay, so ju let's just display Y2. Yeah, uh, this is what you get, the rings. It's kind of unusual. I would expect uh, for region analysis to have like a solid uh, shape rather than like a ring focus on the border, but it, it works. Okay, so now uh, this is a uh, uh, image processing toolbox function to get the threshold. Threshold is basically uh, an image have a, a, a lot of contiguous values as, as you can see here. And what it's going to say is that above a certain point, those, those values are going to become one. And below are become zero. So the zero is the background, the one is the objects. Uh, so that you can make the geometric analysis on them. Okay, so it's gonna select point, tw point 22. The author didn't like it. So it's gonna multiply it by 0.7. So the new threshold is 0.15. And everything below 0.15 is gonna be one. It's kind of the inverted. So let's see how it looks. So it's like uh, the rings. Are gonna be black and the the center of the shape is gonna be white and the background is gonna be white that's how he shows it Pro probably now now I understand uh, it makes sense uh, because it's basically cut the border and made it black and in the blob analysis you notice that he's filtering everything that is above 300 and this here is a blob this can be seen as a blob so it's gonna be filtered out so what's gonna remain it is basically these white uh, things right here, and that is where the center is computed at. Okay, so let's compute the blob. Uh, now we have the centroids, so we're gonna have 38 for this image. So those are the X and Y's of the centroids. So we have 38 particles, and we're gonna put the report as text. Uh, we're gonna use sprintf as in C, or I mean C, I would say. And that is going to be placed at the upper left of the image. And then there's an acknowledged message which is going to play, be placed at the bottom of the image. That's just the configuration for the text. And we can see that you have the text right now. And then we're going to use this uh, computer vision toolbox uh, insert marker that takes the position and some variable argument to configure how that. Uh, those markers are going to be inserted. So, uh, so it's going to be a star. It's going to be a color green. And here's the x, y coordinates of the markers. So it's going to introduce all those 38 markers in the in the image. Yeah. So you can see here. This is this is now the original image with the count of 34, and we see the centroids of each cell. Okay. So now uh, we're going to apply this to the video. And we're going to put a pause so we can see it clearly. clearly. Whoops, it goes very fast. Uh, so they keep growing, keep growing, and it's still detecting all of them. Okay, so let, let's try to run this all over again. Uh, okay. So, so I'm going to put a pause in here so that we get the video. And then we just continue. Whoops. Had to take away the gray point. Yeah, you can see that the number of particle cells keeps increasing until it gets very big and it detects all of them. So it's, it's effective. Uh, the algorithm is effective in this scenario. Again, uh, as a, so that, that's it. Uh, I got, uh, as a summary, we basically made some very basic image processing operation with IMD Lake to basically facilitate the detection of these uh, regions. 
Then we use a threshold uh, to binarize the image, and then we use the blob analysis to get the the the, the centroid and be able to detect the object. Uh, we with the blob analysis we can also uh, calculate the area, and by certain aspect ratio we can uh, detect the object. And there's other geometrical property that can help uh, uh, filter uh, which objects we want to detect or not. Okay, that's all for the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching.